Hello, and welcome to the After Bedtime Podcast. I am your host, Huey B. Burrito, and it has been a very long time since I've done a podcast, over a year at this point. Um, I think the last podcast we did was Dia de los Muertos uh, episode, and um, I just have not had time to make any content at all on YouTube. I've done a couple of shorts here and there, Burrito Start of the Day has been thing, and it's just something that I did so that way I can keep making content on YouTube since I don't really have the time to do an actual sit-down podcast with you guys. Um, it's just IRL life is just really busy, lots of things I have to do um, with the family and all. It's for time to uh, to continue doing these things because I do enjoy doing these uh, podcasts. It's a fun little hobby that I got and it, uh, I, I do enjoy it. And I just don't have the time to do it like I... Uh, would like to. Anyway, on tonight's podcast, um, what I want to talk about is just uh, kind of my, my own personal observations on uh, society in general and the way we're going, especially here in America. Uh, this is an, Amer- an American view because I am an American. And um, just sitting back and just observing everything that's going on in the world and especially in this country. A lot of craziness is going on, especially with these gender roles and um, diseases and all these just different technologies are coming out. It's just it's all very confusing. For example, restless leg syndrome. Really, restless leg syndrome. I, I think Ben Bailey had a great joke about it on his uh, special Road Rage, uh, talking about how restless leg syndrome is just a bunch of wiggly legs. Like a week ago on the radio, on Ground Zero Radio, the secret teaching was on it, and Ryan Gable was talking about, um, I think the episode was Bumble Fumble. Um, please, if I don't put the link in the description for this thing, so let me know, and I'll get them up there real quick. But it, I will try to remember to put the links in the description for this episode, especially for this episode, Bumble Fumble, of the secret teachings with Ryan Gable, because he starts talking about a bunch of different things, but the, after, like, I think it was the second hour of the uh, episode, he starts talking about a new term that I heard. Uh, just it was hilarious to me at first, and then you think about it, it was like, wow, that's there's some truth to that. Okay, this word, this term is hoflation, and I almost l- laughed myself to like a, a heart attack when I heard that because it was so funny. He said hoflation, and then he explained what hoflation was, and. and I can explain it to you because as soon as he said it, I had an idea of what it meant, and then he gave the explanation and the definition of it, and it made perfect. It was like, yep, it's exactly what I thought it was. But I'm, uh, I'm going to play a clip from the actual episode so you guys can know what the whole flation definition is. And I'm going to play that right now. Here you go. This is Ryan Gable on the Secret Teachings on Aftermath uh, Radio or Ground Zero Radio. I'm sorry. Again, this brings me to my, my next point. Second hour of tonight's show. I did not make up this term. This is a term that has been developed culturally, socially. It's called, it's funny, hoflation. You ever heard of hoflation? It basically means that the quality, no offense, ladies, but the quality of women is so poor and is declining at an unbelievably rapid rate, yet... The cost of dating and the cost of the Western woman is exponentially growing. In other words, a woman who brings nothing to the table, or uh, like virtually nothing or literally nothing to the table, but expects not just what they would get from the average man, but excess and the ultimate success, because women see men as success objects. That's hoflation. I'm telling you that hoflation is getting expensive. But if you think about it, I mean, the way he explained it, it makes perfect sense because this, the way society is, it's just it's insane. The, the these um, um, feminists have just completely changed the way women think, and then they don't need a man and. and they can do things for themselves, and they want the men who are more successful than they are, which is, again, none of this is a bad thing. 
and he again Ryan on uh, that episode Bumble Fumble explained it so much better than I can. But like when you go out on a date nowadays, when you go out on a date, and I'm a little bit out of the loop of this because I, I am married already and I've been married for a while, um, a couple years, and when I met my wife or before she was my wife, when I first met her, when we went on a date, it we, we really didn't go on a date. It wasn't like a conventional date. We didn't go to like dinner and a movie or go out dancing or nothing like that. We literally went to the beach and just hung out on the beach, listening to the waves and we talked to each other. And then our dinner was McDonald's, literally a burger and french fries. And um, I'd have to ask because I don't remember, but I'm pretty sure she paid for it. I didn't pay for dinner that night. Although I might have. I might have been a gentleman and I paid. But either way, I, it doesn't matter because she was willing to pay if she didn't pay. And unlike today where um, girls just go out on a date to get a free meal. And that's what they're expecting. And I, I saw a TikTok the other day. It might have been a couple of weeks ago. But either way, I saw a TikTok that was just, this dude was asking if he's a asshole for walking out on these two girls that he that he went on a date with. It's not that he went on a date with two girls. He went on a date with a girl, but she brought her friend with her, and they were both trying to eat on this guy's dime. And so he pretty much stiffed them and left them to pay the tab themselves. And he was asking if he was the jerk. And in my opinion, I would say no. Because, I mean, how are you going to go on a date with someone and then bring your friend with you? Oh, this is my friend. Like, I, I've, I've experienced something similar to that one time. I um, I was very young. I was still, when I was back when I was 18, I took a girl out to um, Disney for her birthday. And she had to bring her friend with her. And I was just trying to, you know... Make it just between something just for me and her, but she had to bring her friend with her, and um, the uh, we went and either way, <laughs> here's here's something <laughs> here's the crazy thing about this. All right, we 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 go to Disney, and she brings her friend with her, and um, um, I paid for me and my girl to go. I didn't pay for her friend to go; she paid for herself. But we go to Disney on her birthday and to me like I, I tried to make the best of it because it is what it is it was her birthday so I was just letting her have fun she would bring her friends whatever but it was the icing on the cake and so her day got ruined because earlier that morning there was an accident or a plane crash in uh, the Twin Towers in New York yes her birthday was on 9-11 yeah Icing on the cake. I'm telling you, the day was completely ruined, and then that happened, and it was just like, you know what? Happy birthday. <laughs> but um, yeah, so me and my wife, we we we, we go on, on dates now, and we're married now, so we just her money and my money is always put together. So I mean, we both sort of pay for the date <laughs> together. So I mean, I can't really relate on the dating scene nowadays. Although I am glad I didn't go through all that craziness that's going on now because I don't know if I would make it. I would probably have chosen to be single the rest of my life than to deal with the craziness that's out there. Because there's just too much going on. This is, I mean, with all these gender identity politics that's going on, where people, I mean, there, there are men that want to be women, and there's women that want to be men, and then there's, there's people out there that want to be attack helicopters, and people who want to be a fluffy and be a cat or a dog. And then, again, I have nothing against people who want to do these things or, ha or you know, LARP as these things. But when they get aggressive and angry and in your face because you misgendered them, like, dude, how am I supposed to know what you identify as? I've never met you before a day in my life. Why, why can't people just have a conversation nowadays? Like, yeah, I might, you might start off on the wrong foot, but just take a breather, step back, and then just have a normal conversation. Well, normal for nowadays. Because, I mean, these, these, like I said, these gender identity politics, they just they drive me crazy. I mean, and I know I'm heterosexual, I'm married with my wife, and we have kids, 
and and so my gender identity politics really shouldn't affect me too much because I don't really have to venture out into that world. But when my kids go to daycare and daycare doesn't use he she pronouns, they they everybody is they them. It's like, dude, they're, they're, they're kids. They're why are we sexualizing children? You know, they're 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 toddlers, they're infants. Then we we're, we're saying, you know. So and so went BM in their diaper. Like, dude, they're one kid. Why is why is there more than one person going BM in a diaper? There should only be one person or one child per diaper. And then it was explained to me it's they're doing it not to offend people. It's like, why can't we offend people anymore? Why is it such a bad thing to be offensive? I don't understand that. I mean, the truth is offensive. The truth is going to make people mad. I, I mean, what? I've heard Clyde Lewis on Ground Zero say, well, the, the truth will set you free, but it'll piss you off on the way there, or something to that effect. It's it's genius the way he says it. But um, anyway, yeah, these, these whole reality is such a blur with nowadays with everything that's going on. And, and to add to that, we also have all this technology out right now. And this technology like, that we... It's getting implemented by all these tech companies like Meta, Microsoft, you know. Like all these companies are, are coming out with tech that do, like, augmented reality stuff with these glasses. Remember, like, years ago, Google had a Google Glass thing where it was, like, a pair of glasses that you put on, and it would augment your reality so you can see, like, facts about things. And I've seen Black Mirror episodes that have this type of technology, like, advanced technology of, the, uh, like, in the future, what this technology could lead to. Where these like have you have like contact lenses that give you augmented reality vision and stuff. It's an insane episode. I forgot what episode. There's a couple of different episodes that do they actually uh, implement this type of technology in a uh, Black Mirror. Like I think one of them is called the History of You. And there's also um, uh, anime, certain animes out there that um, I used to watch, uh, Sword Art Online, which came out with a season called Alice Alicization which talked about augmented reality and AI and um, bringing AI into robots, into the world. And it was a whole crazy plot for that that uh, that particular season of Sword Art Online. But they also had a movie in between seasons that dealt with AI where they were fighting monsters in the state park. It was kind of like Pokemon Go, but like on steroids. It was really crazy. It was a really good anime cartoon. It was a, it was a, a mo- uh, anime movie. And, um, but it was really well made. I forgot exactly what the title is, uh, but it was, it was a, a part of the sort art online franchise. Anyways, I've been ranting long enough. I just wanted to get back on here with the podcast and, uh, and again, it's been over a year since I've done a podcast, and I'm, I'm, I apologize now for the sound quality of this podcast. I am literally doing this podcast completely 100% on my cell phone. Um, I know I usually do it on my PlayStation, but I don't want to talk about this score on my PlayStation. My controller got messed up. But anyways, um, to conclude this evening's podcast, hopefully, the price of hoes has gone up, but the quality has gone down. It's just like the regular inflation where you get the quality of a product is is going down when you're still paying more for it. Like, I went to a restaurant the other day, and their chicken sandwich was more expensive, but the chicken patty itself was so much that it was like half of the chicken patty that I would have seen like a year or two ago. It was ridiculous. I couldn't believe it. I was like, I'm paying more for this? Anyway... Inflation is bad. Hopeflation is even worse. I think we should just, we just as a society, need to just take a step back, take a breather, take a deep breath. As a matter of fact, let's all do it together right now. Take a deep breath, breathe in, hold it, exhale. All right. Now that we're all calm, let's just talk it out, not be as aggressive. And remember that we all have our own feelings and our own interpretation for how life is supposed to be. And we're not wrong, but that doesn't mean we're right either. Either way, thanks for joining me tonight. If you have any comments, please comment below. 
Don't forget to check out The Secret Teachings with Ryan Gable. And sign up for Aftermath.media. I'm telling you, you will not be disappointed. I'm Huey P. Burrito, and this is the After Bedtime Podcast. We'll see you guys next time. After Bedtime. Good night, everybody.